Okay, this is my go kart I built in welding. Suspension is pretty, pretty good. Uh, it's got 11 inches of travel in the front. I had to custom build all these arms. Everything here I built except for the shocks, corner mounts, everything. The steering's a lot better. Uh, got a 540 Yamaha. Air cooled, went up two in the jets. I'm running a 175 in it right now. Standard's 150, so I actually went up four or five. It's nice. You're going up and down the road in it. Still got to do the the rear brake. You know, hook all the brake lines and everything up. Uh, just adjusting the car a little bit ago. Uh, Everything running pretty good. And I built all these arms. I built the box heads. Built everything. I don't got all the nuts and bolts in it yet, but I gotta oil that will do soon. It's legit. Eleven inches of travel in the front and like ten or eleven in the rear. The rear would be up a lot higher because this motor weighs like eighty pounds. Okay, the fluid in the shaft working. Okay, I start her up for you. Okay, I got my light switch all hooked up, so that's off. That's lights on. That's ignition on. Let's see if I can get start one hand.
can't believe how quick he ran around it. I had to take a mess. Build a hole like border on the pipe. Actually cut it on the wrong angle. Well the little box is ready. I don't know if I'm going to do this. I have the chain running through here, but well, I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. I have a great line. Throttle cable. Well, I got to hook this up some way better. Wadded everything up in here. Could push the ignition in. Almost broke my clutch. I got lucky. Broke that off. Uh, just bought a new chain link for it. I'm gonna buy a new chain sprocket set. Polish frame. Uh, I took the front end shocks off the 650 triple. Or up. Uh, she's going out. There's the jugs. There's the engine. Oh, the case. And the crank in it. My glove. I think she's still good. Selling on eBay, so it was, it was. We bought it with the bottom end seized up. Caliper sticking on my truck. Oil oh, compressor and a bunch of other parts. My chain. I'm running a 50 chain. It's huge. My air filter. Need to clean that. If my dad's full with her. Uh, disc brake. I'm running. Still gotta rig that all up. Got some pads. Check those ribs. Look at that one guy. He's actually hard. A bunch of tubing I still got, Ed gave me. The weirdest welding feature I've ever seen, grease. A bunch more, nuts and bolts, tools. I have tools everywhere, that's the way I work. But, still need to fix this leak. But it looks good. See how good she runs for holding this up. start right back up. It actually starts pretty easy. I'm pretty sure it'll start right up. Yup. Got a PSI pipe racing. I think you bought that for that, Uncle Jason. Uh, yeah, no more having to pour gas down the cylinders. You said you always had to, but I don't know. The choke things broke off inside there. I never used choke. I think it's because it's warm, but I don't need to. One thing I'd also notice, I don't know if you guys know anything about this, but it seems like I'm getting exhaust coming back up and through my carb. When she's running, I can see it coming up and through. Start her back up and I'll show you. When I wrap throttle. I don't know if it's just a motor blowing it over next to me, or if it's just coming out from in, up inside there, leaking through. It's hard to see. But I don't know. 